Hey, what's up guys? This is Anthony from Anthony's Customs, and for this review we're going to be looking at the Halo 2 Tartarus from McFarlane. He came out in the Halo Universe line because they didn't have a Halo 2 line, obviously. Uh, I thought I reviewed him, but I didn't see it in my list, and I started to review some of the other Halo 3 and Halo 2 figures. So I figured, what the heck, I'm going to do it again just in case anybody missed it, and because it's a really sweet figure. So here he is. He stands just under seven inches tall to the top of his mohawk so he's good size fits in line with the rest of the brutes and he really is probably the best of the brute figures at least in my opinion as far as accessories go he comes with his hammer the fist of r-u-k-t however you pronounce that i think that's how it's spelled anyway it actually is pretty good mine's a little warped but you can just fix that with some warm water but if you look at the sculpt and the paintwork on the head of the hammer it's really nicely done it looks really cool it's a nice metallic then the handle has some dry brushing on it as well it separates so you can slide his hands over the narrow end and then put the top back on so it's really a nice piece it's almost as tall as he is so it's a really good size it's definitely in scale for the game as far as paint on this guy goes, it's really good. He's got really great dry brushing on the hair, different browns and grays throughout the entire figure. Really nicely done figure. This fur here is a different color than the skin around it, so they did a really good job. There's nice texturing, paint and sculpt wise, in these wraps down here. The metallics are nice, the nails are nice. Everything's painted and sculpted really, really well. His mouth does open. As you can see, it's painted fully inside. The eyes have a really great paint job. Really, everything about this figure is awesome. They did a good job with the bronzish gold armor. It looks a lot like the new Arbiter armor from the 4-pack. But either way, really cool. His little uh, harness belt chest strap thingy is a separate piece, so it won't impede the articulation. And uh, let's go ahead and talk about the articulation. The head is on what I believe is a ball peg. It's hard to sell, tell because you can't really see in there at all. But it moves around like it's on a ball peg. So you can cock it from side to side, forward and back. And then, of course, it has the swivel. So enough, enough range of motion due to the hair and the collar around there, which is also sculpted really well. Uh, it's pretty limited, but it's, it's going to be good enough. The shoulders are on ball discs, ball hinges, just like all the other Brutes and Halo figures. So full range of motion there. Of course, the fur does stick out, so you can't get the arm straight up to the side. And this armor piece is in the way a lot, so it's pretty limited on that side. But you can still swing it around, so it's not too bad. The bicep swivel is a cut joint. It's not the worst, because it stays mostly within that little... Uh, strap thingy so it doesn't look horrible but cut joints aren't my favorite type of joint unless they're hidden well so it's not the best but it's good enough the elbows have the ratcheted ball disc that swivels in the forearm so you can spin it around there and then of course it's got a very fine ratchet for the hinge so it's pretty good good articulation there the wrists have basically the same joint it's a ratcheted hinge and then it swivels at the wrist itself if i can do it so pretty good range of motion actually, and it's a pretty nice looking joint, I mean it doesn't stand out, it's not obvious. So I'm pretty happy with that. The torso is on a diaphragm double ball joint. It has a huge range of motion. Really anything you want to do, you can do it, and it's not going to be ugly. You can only barely just begin to see inside if you look from the back when you put them all the way forward, but every other pose look at that it's just they did a great job with this figure with that torso joint it's a little loose but not so much so that it's a problem it's not wobbly so that's really good the hips now are a different story they are very limited they have almost no range of motion at all they're on an old school ball joint i believe like i said on the neck it's kind of hard to get in there to see but that's how it seems to be it's pretty limited you can get them out a little bit but not a whole lot of range of motion there. The knees are like the wrists and the elbows. It's a ratcheted joint with a swivel in it, which is good enough for me. Now the feet, I think, are just on a ball joint again, but they have full range of motion, so that is fine with me. They can swivel and pivot any way you want. So he stands no problem at all. I mean, you can really get him to do whatever pose you want, minus the limitation of the hips. So he's really, really a cool figure. You can put the hammer in his hand. 
and it makes for a great display piece. And this is just a fun figure to have. One of my favorite Halo figures, actually. I'm not a huge fan of Tartarus, but this figure is just really good. It's a really, really great figure. He's got good, good feet, so he stands no problem at all. So there it is, guys. I definitely recommend it. This is Tartarus, made by McFarlane. Go check it out. Buy it if you can. It's an absolutely great figure. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more Halo figure reviews, more custom figures, and other good stuff. And in the meantime, keep collecting.